Dr. Christopher Jackson, PhD, DOM, Florida, practices a path to wellness where we treat the underlying root causes of health conditions, not just treating the symptoms. And I wanted to talk to you about inflammation. It's a major part of the response of COVID uh, attacking you and uh, if, if you were to, to get COVID. So we want to take a look at how that happens. So inflammation is a major part of that. Um, and what causes that inflammation? Well, we have uh, a uh, chemical known as cytokines. Uh, these are chemical messengers basically that are uh, in a class called leukotrienes. And we have interleukins 6 as a major inflammatory interleukin. Uh, also, we have others surrounding that. Um, so we can actually measure inflammation by measuring the levels of cytokines. That's one of the ways we can do it. In another approach, we can take images like such as this here. This is a thermogram. And this thermogram shows inflammatory patterns as more red. So we have inflammation coming from the body. And where it is more red, we have more inflammation. That is called the thermogram, again. We can use uh, thermography to measure inflammation. We can use cytokines. We can measure the level of cytokines and see the inflammatory response. And the major inflammatory response in terms of COVID is the cytokine storm, it's known as. When that cytokine storm happens, there can be some serious damage, especially to the lung tissue, and then as a result, that can lead to major organ failure. Um, so we want to know about this inflammation that's occurring and understand it thoroughly. So if you'd like to learn more, give us a call or uh, take a look at our website at www.aptw.net, short for apath2wellness.net. Take care.